every NBA team is tied into the community because you know we we have certain appearances we have to do every year yeah at schools yeah you know we do a lot of stuff for the kids so you, you may get the kids tickets for the game did that feel good when you were yeah, in the nba because yeah, that's so little yeah. for you that's nothing yeah i mean it's just, that's just what it's about though yeah you know what i'm saying so like when you see when you see the kids receiving shoes the reactions of their faces right yeah and so that's why i kind of felt like now that I had a moment to reflect on it, when when John Paxson came with the "oh, we're banning this, we're banning that," yeah, you, you're not realizing what you're taking away. Yeah, you're not hurting me by me not wearing a headband. You're hurting the, the, the fucking kid that's waiting for it after the game. I never thought this of it. Why, I never thought of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So th this is so 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 now that, but you don't you don't you don't get that perspective. You don't get to hear that perspective. Yeah. it's being talked about, but it ain't being aired. It ain't being played. Yeah. So when you take away th this is why this is why we wear all this shit, headbands, yeah. wristbands. This is shit to throw away the kids. I never thought of that. <laughs> is that really? Saying? That's I like, mean, yeah. Like I remember, like Be because because that's what because I've seen it happen. Like Vince Carter wearing all the armband just to get just to give to yeah. the kids. I mean, I mean, I can't sit here and say yeah, this is why he wear it, but at the but but the the end result is just being given away. <laughs> it's true. I, and, and you get new ones before every game, and it's gone. You get I, new ones, it's gone. And I, this is yeah. everywhere, right? You know what I'm saying? So I can't say, well, but for me, that's that's kind of why I did it, because I saw I saw the reaction of kids. It's a, it's a, it's a piece of it's a piece of, of of something they can have for the rest of their life. As a kid, like I went to the book, I got Michael Jordan's autograph, I got Steph Curry shoes. I know a guy that has a Vince Carter, Carter wristband, yeah. and he's a grown man, and he still talks about it to this day, but he yeah. was 10 years old when he got it from him. That's a monumental moment for them. I never thought of it from that perspective, and that it makes that makes complete sense. So, John Paxson, when you want to ban me from wearing headbands and all that, you, that's what you took away. Yeah. And, and I hear the kids, hey, where's the headband? You know, I'd done it for one game, and then I just I felt bad. I said, fuck it, I, I'm I got to wear it. Yeah, how much did you get fined? Did you get fined? I Man, I got fined for everything <laughs> because they tried to change me from being who I was. I was in when I, my first two years in Charlotte. I, I never got fined. Why? Because it was <laughs> early in the NBA. First, because we had a because first of all, which I think was great, I had a player coach, like a Paul coach, Silas, just he for played, yourself. Yeah, no, he played in the NBA, right? So that oh, was player coach. coach. Sorry, okay, yeah, sorry, you I know understand. what I mean, yeah. like NBA player yeah, coach. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. He didn't. He didn't care about none of that. I mean, we're 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 on a certain wealth level to where we're not gonna look like bums getting on the plane. We go we go we gonna wear high fashion shit. It may not be a, it may not be what you want me to wear, which I think is a slave trait. That's just what it is. Mm. Another, how another, how you gonna tell a grown man how to dress? Mm. We're going we 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 we're, we're basketball players. We're going on the plane to the hotel. We're not going to sit down in the men's meeting. No, if we were, yeah, of course. Yeah. Dress accordingly. Yeah. Duh, like, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Team pitchers, we got to dress up. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, everyday wear going, you know what I mean? Like, nah. Hmm. <laughs> it's I'm like an image. that yeah. type of person. It's an image that the NBA tries to reflect on their players in order to yeah, upscale not, the brand, I guess, if it means endorsements, if it means anything. It's, an, it's, a, it's definitely a controlling factor. Yeah, but. And their excuse every time is the money. We're paying you millions. Yeah, that's but what they say. That too, but it, but it's all low. It's all, it's also the control of you. Yeah, you, I don't, you can't be you now because you're yeah. doing this. Yeah. Right now, I know there are certain now. I know there are certain players that go to the you know the the, the bigger programs, the Dukes, the North Carolinas. Yeah, those guys wear suits. Yeah. Because that's tradition. Yeah. That's just the way it goes on that level, right? Before you sign there, you know that going in. Yeah, you you go into Duke, you know you you suited and booted. Yeah. Yeah. You're used to that. I didn't come that I didn't come that route. Players players like me, we where I come from, junior college, we 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 wore what we want to wear. All wear. You know what yeah. I mean? We wore what we want to wear all the way up until we made it to that to that situation, right? So yeah. when we get there, it's like we're gonna continue to wear the you know, the hip hop. Yeah. This is this is the culture. This is who I am. Right. So yeah. they try to change that. It's a big, big, big thing within hockey, the the dress code tradition, the suit to the game every day. But it's implemented in Adam. So when the kids are, you know, five, ten years old. So by the time 
they get to the NHL, they don't ask any questions. And to them, to a lot of hockey players, suits are high fashion. That's like what they like to wear. It's just where they grow yeah. up. You know, myself, I'd love to wear a suit. I'd love to wear a suit to the rink. Is that wrong or right? No, it's just who I am from an early age and where I came up from. Right. And I completely understand where you're coming from and saying, okay, no, if I'm going to the rink, I want to wear something that implements who I am as a person. I can understand how taking that away from someone can be a little upsetting. If someone said to me, no, Justin, you have to wear a, you know, a do-rag and a, and a baggy hat to an NHL game, I'd be a little pissed because it's the opposite. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, I, I, so I understand where you're coming from for sure. And it is very controlling. Yeah, like in, in, in my, my upbringing, when I put the suit on, it, I'm going to a funeral. Yeah. Funeral, well, yeah, funeral, it's, funeral. It's like, I don't want to wear this. Yeah. This is my, it's put me, it puts me in that, that mind state of, man, I feel yeah. like I'm going to a funeral. Yeah. Even when I was going to, going to do the team pictures, like, shh, <laughs> this, you know what I'm saying? And that's just not Even me. Even to this I'm day, like. I'm just not a like, suit and tie type of guy. I'm just not, that, that's just not me. Yeah. It's you know fun. I mean? It's fu it's funny how our brains think like that. It, it's just funny, right? What about like a wedding? You pumped to put a suit on for a wedding? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Like th that's that's what you that's do. a wedding. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's you got to be clean for that. <laughs> I remember. I remember AI. Like there's a, the, the a ESPN did a great sixty or thirty for thirty for they're called thirty for thirties or sixty for sixty. Yeah, it's E sixty or thirty for thirty. One of those two. I think it's thirty for thirty. They did a great one on AI, and uh, it was about the dress code. And there was yeah. like a good like ten minute like clip in there about how he was just he wasn't having it. And, and same with like the go showing the showing up to the game. He'd show up like really late to the game, dressed like that. But then he'd go out and put up sixty. And it's like how do you argue with this guy? But that's that's that and that's basketball attire, sweats and a t shirt and gym shoes. Justin, you want to do it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to hoop probably. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even I get if you, it. you yeah. could be in the hood, you could be anywhere. You you dress the hoop. Yeah. That's just hooping gear, t shirt and sweats. That's the team that's the that's the team gear they give you. Sweats. Yeah. T shirts and sweats. <laughs> but how you gonna find me for that? And this is what you give me. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's just all about just trying to change you from where you you know what I'm yeah. saying, know your up your upbringing and where you come from.